Right, part two of the expedition starting. This is my leg. What a stunning drive to get to here from Fort William. It's about 40 odd mile. But oh my God, I saw so many amazing camping spots. It's absolute heaven. That's where I get the ferry from. The Noidart Ferry, quarter past 10. But yeah, it's a lovely place in my leg, really small. I'm gonna try and find a breakfast somewhere. Me and Spike had one up here one time, so. Yeah, so I'm on the ferry at quarter past 10. It's just gone half eight now. And um, and then I'll arrive at Nimberry and then I'll set off. Legs aren't feeling too bad after yesterday's Ben Nevis expedition. Right, catch you later. Can't beat a cheddar toasty to get me set up for the uh, wilderness. So I'll get that down my neck and then I'll head off. That place I went last time didn't see me doing breakfast anymore. Shame. Really nice though. Right, catch you later. Well this is where I get the ferry from. The Noidart ferry. And that is it over there where it says Western Isles Cruises. So that little boat there is the one that will take me into the wild. And it departs in about 45 minutes and I think it takes 45 minutes. So yeah, nice day as well today. I think this is kind of the one nice day I'm gonna have, so be quite handy because I've just been talking to a woman who's done that walk and I think there's quite a bit of climbing today. Which is all I need after doing Ben Nevis yesterday, but it's all part of the adventure. Just arriving at Noidart, everybody. You can already see the old Forge pub. Obviously no one's drinking in it. Because it's not open yet. Hardest. Well, I said I'd come here, didn't I? The old Forge pub. This is the most remote pub in Britain. I said this year I was going to come here and I've just come here, I've just got off that boat over there needless to say, pub's shut anyway it's getting refurbished but I knew that before I set out Um, yeah, so I'm heading down that way but it would have been nice to have a pint and look at that wouldn't it but it's not to be could always come again it was a nice boat ride across there actually the old forge Take her, you are entering remote, sparsely populated, potentially dangerous mountain country. Please ensure that you are adequately experienced and equipped to complete your journey without assistance. Well, I've never needed a warning like that before, but it's obviously got to be taken seriously. And that's the way I'm heading. There's a stunning cross on top of a hill. Just in the middle of nowhere. I'm not even sure if you can make it out. Well, there it is. Yeah, how random is that? Beautiful day. Just been talking to a couple from, uh, from Cumbria. You get all, all kinds. All kinds out in the wilds. Very nice. Right, I'm about three quarters of the way to so Sowerleys or whatever it's called, the Bothy I'm going to, or the approximate area. That's where I've come from there, the sea, and it's been a long steady climb but nothing too bad. Basically I'm going up to the top here and then from there it's a sharp drop down uh, towards the Bothy. So it's not been too bad actually, feet are hurting a bit, 
But I think that's more to do with bad neck issues today than today. But yeah, I've just seen two German blokes. All them young lads did carry on to a, a different direction. Yes. So I won't have to put up with them tonight. But I've just uh, bumped into two German lads coming down here. And they stayed at that bothy last night. And they said there was no one else there. So I'll see. If I've got it to myself, I might stay in it. It's great though, isn't it? The will not so no deer out there, yeah. But this is the wilderness and I love it. Well, after a mammoth climb, I've come to the top and I'm now dropping down. That was a hard, long slog. And basically, I'm round the side of here in that valley. But look at it. Since I've seen the two Germans, I've seen nobody. That's a long drop down there. So, see you later. Chicken, super noodles and corned beef. Right at the side of a river with that backdrop. Nobody about anywhere. Stunning. Really stunning. Not far from the first bothy, Sowellies. And I've spotted my first Noidart deers. A little family of them. Oh, harem of them. Wonderful. Right, you're getting a bit close, you cocker. Keep stirring at me like my mum's dog does. I'm gonna end up in my bloody sleeping bag tonight, this thing, if it carries on getting any closer. <laughs> it's flipping mad, honestly. It's flipping madness. It's got no fear at all. Just keep stirring at me, seeing what I'm doing. And getting a bit closer every time. I'm going to call him Stephen. It's no Stefan. Stefan. I'm going to call him. Right, so this is Sally's body. It's only small, like I said. Oh, you've got a very brave sleeping platform there. One down here, and a few here. Very cosy. 